So we are finally into the new year, so happy new year to everybody watching. And I was originally going to make a video comparing the Icolos SMGs and the other Icolos weapons to see if there's actually a notable differences. Truth is that the only differences that I can see are the perk pools, so I'm not going to be doing that. Instead, I decided I need to try and get my vault into shape because this is becoming a nightmare. Bungie did increase the slots from 500 to 600. But before I do that, I do want to mention that you can also do this quite easily if you go over to Destiny Recipes and you literally can just click the vault cleaner. And as you can see here, as soon as you've logged into your account, you can see some very nice settings to use. When you're happy with your settings, just if you press review my vault at the bottom, and it will actually give you breakdowns of how many weapons you've got as for each weapon. Obviously, when I read it like this, it kind of just gives me the impression that I've only got one of each auto rifle, which is true. I don't know why I have a blue. That's a bizarre question. But anyway, but it's kind of easy to see that I have a lot of auto rifles. And I don't need this many auto rifles, if I'm going to be honest with you. So here is the vault. And some Eagle Eye viewers might actually see that my count has gone up. It was 501 on the Destiny 2 recipes, and now it's 596. And the reason for that is because I've just moved every single item from all my characters' inventories into the vault as well. So the fact that I'm four off the capacity is very concerning to me. So I'm literally just going to go through page by page, deleting literally everything I don't use anymore. I'll only be leaving certain weapons that could be of interest. A lot of it's going to get cut out. Let's sign off with the Supremacy Sniper Rifle. I have never recalled a time I've used this, so that is going. Tiger Spy, goodbye. Don't need it. Fall in Trouble, mm, full auto. Uh, no, get rid of that. I've got better shotguns than that one. Long Shadow, get rid of it. It is a decent sniper, but no. Fire the Fox. I'm keeping this because I actually have very fond memories of this and it is an Iron Banner Sniper. So Sacred Providence, you can get this from the Garden of Salvation raid. Never recalled actually using it though, but it is a 450 RPM Outlaw Kill Clip. I hang on to this just for now because it is a 4 burst frame and it's 450 RPM. So I want to see how this actually performs in open combat because I don't think I've actually used it that much. I pretty much got it and then left it. Friction Fire, I remember this being really good like when it first came out, but now that we have 900 RPM SMGs that basically pair with subclasses this is like completely irrelevant to me now so that's gonna go heritage shotgun from the times of when dual slugs were actually really useful and not to mention i use the heritage even past that i do want to hold on to it i want to try and get the um the craft roll that you can get for the heritage and then i think i'll delete this but for now i'll hold on to it whispering slab <laughs> i think uh 2900 kills with the whispering slab just tell you i like this weapon a lot so i'm holding on to this for nostalgia and i actually think i'm gonna end up using it again so i'm gonna keep this for now extraordinary rendition yeah um i use this quite a bit <laughs> i want to hold on to this one for my primary slot smg because it was such a good smg when it first came out with season of the chosen and i don't think i ever put it down through most of the year actually until like the new smgs like the cows mini tour when that came out that's when I probably put this gun down and then started using other things. Bring an explosive payload and Firefly. This is a fun weapon to use. I pretty much used this for PvE mostly. I didn't actually use it that much in the Crucible, even though that's what the kill track is on. 69, funny number. But yeah, I think I'll hold on to this one because I believe this was on my first few clears of VOG. So it's kind of a fun memory of when I was learning raids. Speaking of raids, we have Praetis Revenge from the exact same raid. So I'm going to be honest, I don't think I've ever used this, so I'm going to get rid of it. Reese Walker shotgun. Now, I have been using the Reese Walker lately because it seems to complement my Arc 3.0 build. Like, I'm sure if you've seen the video, by the way, I up at the top if you haven't seen it already. I do actually mention the Reese Walker shotgun to be used, not to mention you can't get these anymore. So, it's more of an incentive for me to keep this one around. Back to Thirst, however, I remember using this quite fondly. Lead from gold and opening shot was a weird combination to be using. But the fact it was a primary shotgun was quite useful in many regards. I'm going to keep the one that's matched to work because that's the one I always used. The second roll though with dual loader and trench barrel. While it was an interesting roll, I will just get rid of it. And we have some crafted weapons now. I'm going to be honest, I'm going to keep the crafted weapons provided I only have one of them. Because it doesn't make a lot of sense for me to craft weapons just to delete them later. Reckless Endangerment, that is a seasonal weapon, so I don't think you can get these anymore. I do want to hold on to this. Now we're finally into page two, and we've deleted around 40 items, which is a very good start, but hopefully I'm going to keep the momentum going and delete a lot more. I think the goal for the video is trying to get down to 300, hopefully 200. If I can get down to 200, that is going to blow my mind. Incorporation 53. I don't know how the hell you say that. Hopefully I got it right. I don't think I did though. But I don't remember ever using them. So goodbye. Not to mention these drop very regularly. They're actually a little bit annoying. Riptide, one of my favorite fusion rifles. I am 100% keeping this because auto loading is so nice with it. And it's a fast charge rate. So win-win for me. Right, Disparity. This is the, one of the new pulse rifles. And it does have Desperado on it. So I do want to hold on to this because... 
I want to test this out properly. I've not had the chance to yet. Prolonged engagement. So, 900 RPM Stasis SMG with Killing Wind and One for All. What? There was another SMG. Yeah, Blood Feud, wasn't it? That I just had. 750. Do I keep Blood Feud or do I keep Prolonged Engagement? I tell you what, I'm going to get rid of Blood Feud because Prolonged Engagement has a much higher RPM. So I think I'm going to enjoy using this a lot more. I have two Telestos. Why do I have two Telestos? And what is the difference? Oh, one has a Kill Tracker. Okay, so in that case then, I'll get rid of the 1350. I don't know why I have two Telestos. Imagine if the game just broke then because I deleted a Telesto. Vouch save, I'm not going to lie. I used to use this quite a lot. It is a Void Scout Rifle, but... Being completely honest, when it comes to void weapons, I don't particularly use Scout Rifle for them. Let me just have a quick look, though. Yeah, so straight off the bat, Duma Chelchis. I, I think I said that right. It is my Scout Rifle as a void. It also has Firefly and Dragonfly, which is a crazy kind of role for me, but that is what it is. So I will get rid of my vouch saves because I have no reason to keep them. My Sunset Horrors Least. I will hold on to this, and this is the reason why. So if you remember a while back when Dares of Eternity came out, and New Lights kind of got locked into doing Dares of Eternity and kept dying over and over, I actually used the Horrors Least to bring my light down to go and help them. So I want to keep this just as a way for me to reduce my light if I ever need to. Obviously on top of this, I have the Halloween Mask in my vault, which I'm also going to keep just so I can actually bring it down even more if I need to. And not to mention it's hilarious having really low levels of light anyway, so there is that gnawing hunger now this one i am keeping because if you've been around this channel for a long time the gnawing hunger is one of the very first shorts that i made that actually gained quite a few views and it was just called gnawing hunger goes burr and literally in that video all i did was unleash one mag of gnawing hunger but the caveat is that this is subsistent and rampage so every time i got a kill the damage went up and i also partially reloaded the mag so what should have been a 51 round magazine quickly turned into at least 120 if not 150 rounds in one mag i'll link it up above on the eye icon as well just so you can go have a look if you want to right coriolis force this was my go-to fusion rifle when it was been beyond light days when i first started this but because this fusion rifle is back from when i started this game i do want to keep it as a nostalgia value i remember as a new light running around on europa trying to hunt down the penguins and this was pretty much always in my inventory ready to go in case I needed it. So yeah, I'm going to have to hold on to that one, I'm afraid. We have now officially deleted 100 items from the vault and we're still on the second page. This is ridiculous. <laughs> right, my palindromes. And for some bizarre reason, I don't know why, but I tend to use a palindrome that's not adept. <laughs> the adept one basically gets no use. I think it is time to rip that band-aid clean off. So goodbye, old palindrome. The adept version I will keep so I have a void hand cannon and I need to start using it more anyway, so... Here's to using the palindrome. The bottom dollar. I'm going to keep this, but for all the wrong reasons. Because, again, going back to content that I have on this channel from the early days, one of the most embarrassing shorts I've ever made was a short called I Can't Do PvP, which is also on the channel. It's one of the highest viewed shorts. And I'm using the bottom dollar. And for the life of me, I can't hit this one guy who's weaving side to side. Needless to say, it was a very funny time for me. And I do want to keep it because of that. Just, again, nostalgia value for me. Artesian Coordinate, my favourite fusion rifle because it charges quick and hits hard. Under pressure and high impact reserves as well makes it even more lethal as the mag goes down, so I'm always happy using it with that. Vision of Confluence, so these are a bit of a throwback, back to my VOG days when I was running these regularly. Um, as you can see, one has 63 kills, the other one has 2,200. I think you know which one I'm going to dismantle, even with the wee wind wounds. Two Vex Mythoclasts, yep, they're going to be kept. Wolftone Draw, my favourite arc bow. I am 100% keeping this, even if I get a better arc bow, because I have so many fun memories with this bow, and the fact that it's Archer's Tempo Dragonfly is just even sweeter. Retrace Path with a Incandescent and Subsistence roll, so go figure for that one. Place of Personality, or a Disruption Break, and also Loading Holster. I'm sorry, I've got to love it. I think it's a wave, yeah, waveform as well. I'm keeping it. I remember using this quite a lot. It is very fun to use. Portal Web, my favourite Void SMG at the minute. It is an absolute godsend. I do not want to dismantle this ever because it's subsistence and frenzy. Callus Mini Tool, my favourite SMG at the moment and obviously my favourite of Solar SMG. Nearly on 10,000 kills. I'm going to keep using this because it rips. Finally, current season. So, Tripwire Canary, I'm keeping it because I actually like this for now. I can see me dismantling it in the future when I want to bring back Wolf Tone Draw, but for now, 
yeah, this one is quite nice for me. Battle Witch Resistance, if you have one of these on the crafted roll, my god, is it brilliant. I would really want one with adapted munitions and bolt shots, but until I get the crafted roll, I don't think that's going to happen. But I love this Trace Rifle. Road Duello. I knew there was something else in this arsenal that was going to be nostalgic. This was one of my first rocket launchers I held on to and used very regularly. I remember when this first came out as using the Chosen, it was mad for me to use because it did so much damage. Cluster Bomb as well just annihilated ads and did so much damage to majors. I just loved using it. Not to mention I got boss spec on it as well. So I must have been using it for boss damage as well way back when I was a blueberry. Chatter Cypher, I remember picking this up for the first time. And you just unleash hell when you start firing it. Not to mention I got heating up and rampage on it, so... It was quite fun to use when Season of the Splicer first came around. I want to hold on to this just for a bit. Quick Fang. I use this for style, so I'm holding on to it for now. <laughs> it's basically one of the three unique sword types you can get. Warlocks get Eternity's Edge, and of Titans obviously get Crown Splitter, which is basically going to be the main reason why I keep these swords. They are unique to their classes. Rage Regret. Listen, there's no way I'm deleting that. It's such a good, <laughs> it's such a good linear fusion rifle for Solo. Razor's Edge. I'm not sure if you can get that sword anymore, and it's basically a lightsaber, so I want to hold on to this for a little while. Now onto the armor pieces, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get rid of as much raid gear as I can because, to be completely honest, I never actually used the raid gear. Obviously, I'm looking for double exotics as well, which there is a few I can see straight away. Now, the Rivery Dawn set, I will make an exception because it is very useful for a certain, um, geez, we'll say. If you know, you know. Okay, I have two Masqueraders cows, so I will actually get rid of the 71 because that was actually a low stat. I think that was, I think that was one. I think that one was a 60 stat, whereas this one is a little bit higher. As far as bow tracers go, I'm actually going to get rid of the higher stat one because I just kind of like the stat spread on the 66 rather than the 67, so that one can go. Legacy Earth Best, again, just a raid piece, don't need it. They apply to a Best of the Great Hunt. Best of Transcendence, exactly the same thing. Same thing for this one. Keeping this Reverie Dawn Hawkbird though, because if you know, you know. Now, Iron Forerunner, I do want to hold on to that because Iron Banner would be a good idea to hold on to the armor for it. And the reason for that is because when you wear actual Iron Banner sets, you actually get more reputation by completing matches, so it just makes sense to hold on to the armor. Hunter's Cloak, I can get rid of it. Pretty much the same for any of these. Unless it's an Artifice piece, there is no reason to keep these cloaks. However, this Reverie Dawn one is worth keeping because if you know, you know. Now, that is the Metal Mantle. I will hold on to that just in case it does still work in Guardian games because then it just saves me... A bit of a hassle. Obviously, if the Guardian Games comes around and I can get a new one, it's like it's part of the quest, then I'll probably delete that, but we'll see. And that leaves just a bunch of sparrows, which I'm not dismantling because I'm holding the for legendary shards and glimmer. But yeah, that is the end finally. It's actually taken me an hour and 50 minutes to go through this entire vault and need, like whittle down how much items I had. We started with 597 in the vault, we're now down to 340. That is a big win for me, I'm thinking, because with the fact that Lightfall is around the corner and there is going to be a lot of new guns that come out, it is definitely worth doing this if you haven't done this yourself. Of course, Destiny 2 Recipes is in the description if you want to have a look at it, because that is a much easier way to go through your vault, especially if you've got duplicates. But personally for me, I just felt like doing this a classic way. It is something therapeutic in a way and quite enjoyable to do. So by all means, make sure you clear out your vaults because when Lightfall drops, there's going to be a lot to go through. But if you like the video, remember to leave a like down below and obviously leave a comment as well. If you think I've dismantled something that I shouldn't have, I would be curious to know. And that is everything for me. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next one.